In this video, we're going to revive this worn out Razer MX650 and we'll start with replacing the three lead acid batteries which are dead in this bike with one 36 volt lithium ion battery. It saves about 18 pounds and makes this bike much more manageable. I'll go through step by step how to fit the battery into the frame and how to connect it to the factory wiring. I'll also add probably a headlight and tail light as I go when I have this thing open. And I'm gonna try to replace this plastic back end as it's broken. Now that we revived this Razer MX650, we called it the Super B build. And we added a 36 volt, 14 amp hour lithium battery. Added a couple features. I'm gonna go step by step on how to connect that battery and everything else. To remove the plastic covers, you simply loosen these two bolts. There's also two bolts that attach the fuel tank. There's two bolts in the back here that attach the fender. That'll remove the plastics. Then you're gonna need two bolts to remove the fuel tank. And then there's a few bolts uh, that remove the plastic covers that protect the batteries. Once you get the plastic covers off, this is what it's gonna look like on the inside. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna disconnect the cover. There's three different connectors. And then this one's the charge port. So you take those off and now the cover is free. So the key is right here is the main power supply. You wanna retain this, that way you can use this clip. This is what the lithium battery will attach to. In order to fit this battery in this area here, the old supports don't work. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use the foam that the battery was shipped in. I'm gonna cut it down using a bread knife. I'm gonna set it right in there. I'll build a cover around it and using the foam that I was shipped in and then that'll support it nicely and I'll use zip ties or straps to secure it. Now I've packaged the lithium ion battery into the MX650. Same thing with the MX500 and the SX500. What I did was I used the foam that the battery was shipped in and I made this cradle to support it. I used the Velcro straps, which you can buy online, It'll linked in the description below. I saw a guy online do this. It's nice and easy to remove them. And I was able to slide it underneath the battery tray. I also moved the control module from this bracket and then I moved it up here to the upper battery tray. I put a little piece of foam underneath it to support it and it mounted right into that upper battery tray nicely. So now I'm gonna show you how to wire the battery to the switch or front cover and then you'll be motoring on. This is the main part of connecting the battery. It's really only two wires. This is the wires that come out of the switch and go to the battery. Uh, the last battery and the first battery. Now, I clip them off, strip the wires. Now, I have this little toggle that came with the lithium battery. And what I'm gonna do is just simply connect red to red, black to black. I'm gonna use this heat gun with these um, solder and seal connectors. I like them, they're nice and weatherproof and it makes it easy. You could use some other type of connectors and connect this directly on there and then use the battery with like an XT60 connector. Um, but I like to just use this, it's simple and easy. Okay, now I've done the solder and seal. It's really nice because it just melts it and it seals the wire. So I'm gonna let that cool for about five, 10 minutes. Then I can just simply connect it, put everything back together and I'm ready to roll. It's really that simple. Just connect the red to the black. You really don't need this fuse. I put it there just in case because typically most lithium ion batteries have a BMS which controls the amperage, but I'm using it there as a secondary safety feature to protect the control module. What I'm gonna do here is install the charge port. Now it comes out of the battery right here. So I'm gonna choose to drill a half inch hole in the plastic so this sticks out like it's factory. The other option, you could just route this out the side and then zip tie it up here um, and then charge it that way. 
I did tape off the charge port, the factory charge port through the controller, and I'll also do that on the cover because I don't want anyone to accidentally charge with the factory charger with this lithium battery, so it's a safety option. I drilled a half inch hole in the plastics, took off the weather cap, slid the charge port from the lithium battery through that hole, then put the weather cap back on, threaded the spanner nut on the back so it's nice and secure. This factory plug has been deactivated so there'll be no potential to use the factory charger with the lithium battery. You have to use the lithium charger in that port. So let's tally it up. How much did it cost to revive this Razer MX650? If we don't include the auxiliary stuff that I added, let's just focus on the bike. Now the bike I sourced from offer up for $120. I then added the 36 volt lithium ion battery, which was another 130 that included the charger. I then sourced new plastics because the tail was broken. That was $20. I added a piece of flare, the stickers, that was another five. So that sits about 275 the way it sits. If you wanna know how I hooked up these uh, auxiliary voltmeter, headlight, tail light, that's in another video. But all said, this wasn't bad for $275. So please like and subscribe to my channel.